What's up, Raphael here, guys, with an update on the 2D game engine that I'm doing in the Win32 GDI. So, major, major update. Uh, I have been hard at work for the last three weeks. I implemented something known as quantum indexing, which I later found out was just a tile map. So I transitioned away from the bricks and now I went to uh, a tile map kind of idea because it's just much faster. Uh, using the tile maps, you can use a special formula and you can literally just go to where you want to display sprites without having to cycle through the entire vector. So that made the, the game engine much more faster, much more amazing to work with. Uh, I mean, wait till you see this. Uh, so I've got... I got a lot of stuff going on. This is starting to look like a, a, a game. Like, like, I mean, this is, it looks good. It's, it's actually fun to play. Uh, well, it's not a game yet, but so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I've also started working on the sound system. Um, if you're hearing background music right now, it's not from the game. I actually, I should have turned that off, but I have free sound playing in the background. But I guess that, that'll that give it a nice touch. But as you can see now, we got uh, the background there in the back uh, moves independent. And you can see how we got now, we got sprites that I, I've added flip books to sprites and now we can actually animate. So there's an animation, there's a lot of stuff. There's, uh, I can now detect sp uh, spikes here. As you can see my sprite now flashes if I get on a spike. I can also detect being crushed so I will jump in between that moving block there and boom, he got crushed. So a lot of stuff working. The pop blocks are working again. We got moving platforms right here. So they look good. As you can see, this level is not that very well designed. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a tour of this level here to show you just uh, what kind of features are incorporated here in this 2D game engine so you can see uh, this thing in, in the works. I don't know if I'll be able to make it across because I've actually reduced the jump of Jake. So let's try. Uh, yes, I can. I can make it across. Okay, so we're going to go here and I think this is the last block. So you can see how much this has improved. Again, if you see stuttering, that's OBS Studio. So I, I did a ton of work on the oh, sprite layer. I still got more work to do. I'm just improving this as I go. This is more of like a rant of an update. Huh? So I've created, I had to do some different artwork for to use the grid system. Uh, the level editor uh, has changed as well. So let's, let's create another platform here, give you guys an example. I turn on developer mode here and we're gonna go to layer number two uh, and we're gonna just we can also activate a grid now and the grid shows us where the actual sprites are um, and that's how we can draw very fast is using a special formula um, we can we can basically get anywhere without having to cycle through the entire vector so that's really cool but we're gonna turn this grid off and we are going to select a just some funky looking tile here. Now, how about this green looking thing? So let's see. Let's go. Let's go about down here. How about there? That's a nice spot. And we're going to kind of, I know there's a, let's see if we can kind of mix it up here with, this is going to be one ugly looking tile. And let's add some these hydraulic things if I can find them it's always hard to find them there we go and we're just gonna add a few down uh, why don't we add uh, let's see I'm gonna go I wanna put some spikes there these are non activated spikes there we go and I'm going to put it right there. I think that's good. Let's put like a, a caution thing there. 
I can find the caution thing. Actually, we will just do this. We will put one one here and I'll put the other one right here. To just kind of show us that this is like a danger block or something. And now, uh, yeah, if we wanted to get more fancier, we can also add a top ledge here. We're going to switch to a different tile, maybe a purple tile. And let's add something. Now we're going to add, we're going to go to layer number three here. And we're going to add maybe the big fat ones. How about that? Um, yeah, how about that? Let's just do this. And that will just kind of seem like it's just being supported by this huge thing here. So now when we go back to play mode, we can, uh, of course, jump on that platform. And there you go. We just created it. And now the, the sprite will look like it's behind that because we put it on layer number three. If we put it on layer number one, uh, we can create the illusion of... Uh, here, why don't, why don't we demonstrate that? I'm going to go back in there. I'm going to go to layer one. And layer one will be the background. So let's select the smaller one. And let's put it maybe right here. I think that works. And now we're going to go back to play mode. And you'll see I appear in front of it. But in this one, I appear behind it. So that gives us the illusion of death right there. And if we wanted to get a little bit more, uh, we can just keep adding. I'm going to go back across. You can still, I've got some, oh, whoa, that was close. The platforms are working. Get a load of the parallax scrolling background back there. That's freaking amazing. I mean, this it looks like a game already. Look at this. In the Windows GDI, can you believe this? <laughs> this is absolutely insane. Here, why don't we fix up that platform down there? That really bothers me. When we go down there, you know, why don't we just add a finishing touch here? We go back to layer one. That way, when we go down, it doesn't appear like it's missing the legs or something. There we go. That's a much nicer effect. Let's move the mouse here. Oh, there's a lot of funky artwork here. Now, the reason that tile back there stops flashing is because it's being rendered with the grid. So, OBS Studio really can't handle filming this. Yep, so that's the update I got for you guys. Um, I got more on the way. So this is turning out real nice. So what I'm doing right now is just uh, making this more efficient, adding uh, adding. Uh, I'm working on the sound system now, uh, getting some artwork done. Uh, I'm just ranting. I'm just now just talking nonsense, and you know, just just kind of just just this is just maturing, you know. Anyway, that's, that's the update I got for now. I got uh, When I have more stuff, I'll definitely show it. Uh, so until next time, guys, bye-bye. Uh,